Here is how the settings work on Midjourney. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? When you are in the private chat with the Midjourney bot, this is something you get as a premium subscriber. You can adjust the settings to get to the settings. Go down here where you enter your text, type slash set, and then we'll suggest to you settings. Click on that and hit enter and you get these colorful buttons. Also, I want to invite you to join my Facebook group or my Discord. And what this basically does is to set up for you different choices that from now on will be used with every prompt you enter. So you don't have to manually do that every single time. But you also need to remember that you set that up. Check your settings. Midjourney has, of course, different versions of its development. And the cool thing is it allows you to switch between these different versions. Midjourney version one is a lot cruder here. You can see an example of that, but I will still suggest to you to try that out. You get some rather creative and inspirational results that can lead to some really artistic, interesting ideas. Version two, of course, is also an older version. It will still give you something interesting to play with. Midjourney version three is what we have right now. And this is giving you this artistic, beautiful expression of what version three is doing, but it is not very correct when it comes to the face, the anatomy. Now we also have at this moment Midjourney test, which will give you photorealistic results or painterly results. It depends on the prompts you're writing in there, but they will be much better from the anatomy, from the face, from the results you're getting. You have Midjourney test photo, and this will be the best when you want to have photorealistic results. Now the next one is style, and that might confuse some people people because it does multiple things at the same time. So when you actually click on the button, this is the interesting thing. You actually get the value up here. So you can see right now we are using version three and low is 1250. It's not non because that would be style 625. It is just a very low application of that style. What that means is it will stick closer to your prompt and the variations between the different images, the different versions you get is smaller and also the variation on how far it goes from the image if you use an image source is also artistically less creative, let's say. So it has an impact on different elements in Midjourney. When you click on medium, it gives you 2500. By the way, when you click on this again and it's still chosen, it doesn't show you anything. This is because this is the normal setting. So there you have a bit more variation in the four suggestions you get. And as you can see, that is a very good value to work with most of the time. High is 5,000 and then we have very high that is 20,000. That's already pretty high, but this is a very good tool also for inspiration. Now, one thing you need to know about the styles that is very important is when you create variations from that, the style value will also be applied to the variations. This is, by the way, not the highest value you can set for style. If you set it manually, you can go up to 60,000, which will be very different, but at the same time, also very creative and inspirational. So you should absolutely also try that out. The next line is quality and that influences the quality of the image you get back, but also the render time and also the GPU cost. Now, when you are on a $10 budget, you might worry about the cost. When you are on the $30 subscription, you can always use the relax mode, which doesn't cost any of your units. So there is not really a reason to go with a half quality other than being creative and getting that amount of inspiration. Because when you choose half quality, this is equal to minus minus Q 0 0.5. And that will also give you interesting results. I don't think it's a good way to try out prompts because the results are very different from what you would get with the base quality or the high quality. But for creative reasons, because the results look so different, you can try it and play around with the images you get. 
When you set it to high quality instead, this is minus minus Q2. It takes double the time, but it gives you a lot more details. So if you want to have really good results, you want to try out high quality. Now here's a setting that does not work. If you want to use high quality in combination with MJ test or MJ test photo. The first time you enter a prompt, it will tell you a warning so you can only use it with version three or below that. Next one, we have fast mode and relax mode. Now relax mode, you can only access with the $30 subscription. Absolutely get the $30 subscription. I can't repeat this often enough because you get unlimited GPU hours. So you can create thousands of pictures in one month. You don't have to worry about entering any kind of prompt. But what you need to do is to be in relax mode because the fast mode is going on your clocked time. This is where you have to pay for the units. Relax mode, you don't have to pay for the units if you have the $30 subscription. Next, we have the upscale. And this is also used for creating your initial prompt. So this is important to set this up. When you have the regular upscale, this is just what Midjourney is doing, the normal style for all of these versions the same. And then light upscale, this is a lighter version of the regular upscale. The next one is called the beta upscale. Now, when you use this with the old versions like version one, two and three, this gives you a more painterly flatter style that is very attractive in my opinion. But when you're using beta upscale with test or test photo, which is by the way, the only choice you have for upscaling with these, the results look very good and can be very photorealistic. Down here, we have two other buttons that is the public mode and the private mode. Private mode means that your creations don't show up in your profile, but this you have to pay extra for, even with the $30 subscription. By the way, the way to get to your profile is to find an upscale in here, click here on web, and then this will guide you to this page here where you see your upscale, you click here on home, and this is where your profile is. Now, here are some more choices for you. They're not settings, but they are buttons that are offered through the Discord interface. When you make an upscale from an image that has been created with the model version one, two or three, you get these buttons down here that say light upscale redo, beta upscale redo and remaster. Here you can see an upscale that is using the light version compared to the normal upscale. Here is the beta upscale compared to the normal upscale. And here is the remaster, which is using minus minus test minus minus creative to create a new version of your render. This still is not an upscale. This is a remaster in the new test and creative render engine. So when you have created that, you still need to click on the upscale button. And in that case, it's going to be again the beta upscale, but in this case for the test model, so you don't get that painterly effect. When you have an upscale from the minus minus test or minus minus test P model, you don't get these choices, but you can create variations from that upscale. Now here is an alternative to the settings where you can enter even more options. For that, go down to where you enter the text, write slash pre and select pre suffix. A suffix is something that is added at the end of the prompt. So that means you can write anything you want in here. For example, let's write octane render minus minus test minus minus AR two by three minus minus S. Let's go with 5000. And when I hit enter, you can see this is now my new suffix. So every time I enter a new prompt, this is going to be added automatically at the end of my prompt. So if you want to have a lot of prompt variations, this is an easy way to do that. But what you need to keep in mind is that we have here prompt commands like minus minus AR in here. So when I use different prompt commands in my prompt, it's not going to work. So let's write minus minus test P here, for example, and you will see I get an error. So for this, you need to clean the suffix. 
To do that, simply down here in the text entry, write slash pre again, select pre suffix, hit enter, and then you can see it is now removed. Leave a like if you enjoyed this and see you soon. Bye.